This is Ice Cream Gecko, and in today's video we're going to take a look at another Hagen Dazs Pierre Hermé ice cream. This time around it is the uh, Macaron Double Chocolate Ganache, and this is one that has been requested before, and I finally could uh, get a hold of one of these pints at my local Globus. It was covered in ice, and um, the only reason why I could actually spot it was this differently colored top lid right here. Uh, this tone of brown was different than the others, so I thought something's different about this particular pine, so I'll take a closer look at it. And uh, yeah, uh, luckily it was one of these uh, Pierre Hermé ice creams, and one that I haven't taken a look at before. So pause if you want to take a look at the nutrition table right here. Pause if you want to take a look at the, well, ingredients list in... Um, let me scrape up some of the ice in French, in Dutch and in German. And the other half of this ingredients list is readable here. Wonderful. Oh, here. 0.4% of something. Let's take a quick look at the bottom here. That's the bottom of it. And uh, I think we are going to get to the bottom of this entire thing in just a second, because now we are taking off the lid and uh, remove the plastic foil. So, looks wise, looks all right. I can unfortunately see some crystal formation here. I don't know if that's my fault or if it's because something was going wrong before it even made its way into that, that freezing shelf. I don't know, but that I think shouldn't look that way, this crystal formation there. Uh, we are going to take a look at this anyway. I'll zoom out once again. We're going to take the cutting board here and we are going to slice it right here. Okay, it's a bit tougher to get through than some of the other ice creams. Oh, we've got some spillage at the bottom. It's melting quite rapidly, rapidly it seems. Okay, which one are we going to take a look at? I think we're going to keep the left one. All right, I'm back at the desk and I think uh, I am well advised to start this uh, consumption process rather quickly because this seems to melt rather quickly. First off, what is the smell of? It does smell of chocolate ice cream, chocolate nut, chocolate ice cream, quite a decent scent to it, yes. Nothing bad about it, just uh, what I expected. So let's take a little spoonful of ice cream scrapage from the very top here. Ice cream scrapage. I'm making up words without even speaking the language properly to begin with. I don't know if that um, is very advisable. I don't think it is. But I don't think that uh, proper English speaking skills is what you are here for, right? So, first spoonful looks. <laughs> doesn't look great, but I'd hope, I, I do hope that it does taste great. Okay, there's definitely a decent chocolate flavor here. Decent chocolate flavored ice cream. Now, if you watch my videos regularly, you know that I'm not a huge fan of chocolate ice cream. Um, but this one right here seems to be. Okay-ish. Although, in terms of flavor, oddly enough, there is a certain lack of flavor, lack of richness. Yes, yeah, same, same thing here. There is, I don't know, usually you've got something sweet, then you've got something creamy in texture, and then you've got also a different component that is sort of a, a rich middle ground in that entire flavor profile. But here, um, it pains me to say, but it feels like it's um, a bit more watery in flavor than expected. I don't know where that's, where that's really coming from. So you start off with a decent sort of like cocoa milk, uh, chocolate ice cream flavor. That's all right. But then after that, once you've gone through that, that texture of these macaron pieces, which are great in texture, um, very interesting. Something that I really liked about that, that strawberry raspberry thingy, I think it was, that we had previously. Once you get through that, you're not really left with too much of a, of a creamy flavor in your mouth. It's just, it seems to vanish and it leaves sort of almost like watery aftertaste. It's a very weird way to describe it, but I don't know how to describe it in a, in a different way. It's weird. It's not like any other like chocolate ice cream that I've ever had. No, it really is the same story with every spoonful that I take. I don't know if, if something has gone horribly wrong um, between this being produced and me consuming it here. Maybe it, it 
I don't know, thought too much um, at, at some point and was frozen down. Maybe that's the case, but the, the rich chocolate ice cream flavor that persists in your mouth for a couple of seconds, that's just not there. And um, after this has melted, usually with ice cream, you've got sort of a like, creamy texture in your mouth for, for a couple of seconds, right? But here, this all just vanishes and it is... It leaves a texture in your mouth that reminds me more of like ice, ice pop, like water ice, flavored water. Frozen down, not ice cream. I don't know, I didn't expect this. And this is, I have to admit, a bit disappointing. The texture of these macarons is fantastic though. Um, maybe I can get my hands on one of these in, in just a second. But it's difficult because this entire thing is melting quite quickly. Okay, I think here we've got one. So you can't see too much of it. Um, yeah, there, there's a sort of a grainy texture in there. It was um, easy to see with the red macaron ice cream. But this one right here, texture-wise it is quite similar. Although flavor-wise, I don't know, let's try it on its own. Yeah, flavor-wise it is not really positively overwhelming, overwhelming either. Um, I have to say that um, as of right now, I'm quite disappointed by this. Uh, not not the melting part, like that's okay, it's it's the middle of summer, but the the flavor just isn't there. And the texture isn't where it should be either. I mean, I've had ice creams before that would melt in my hands and reviewed them before together. And they were fine, like flavor-wise. And, and the texture of the ice cream itself in my mouth was usually fine. But this here is a bit more watery in both texture, when it melts, and also in terms of the lack of flavor. Sure, it's like chocolate ice cream, but there's, there's something missing here. And that's not, that's not great. I think I'm going to finish off this half now, and I'll see you with the review sheet in just a second. The consumption process is complete, and we are ready to rate this with the review sheet. First impression-wise, I give 0.5 out of one available point, because the entire thing looked fine at first, it smelled good, but one thing I want to complain about are these ice crystals up top. I've never seen stuff like that on premium ice cream like Ben & Jerry's or Hagen dazs before, and since I didn't really do anything different uh, in regards to the mode of transportation, I assume that this is something that is either down to the product itself or down to the storage method of the store that I bought this product from. Um, I hope that this is just a one-time thing and I won't experience this again. And uh, please let me know also when you buy this, if you have bought this in summer, if you've experienced something similar. Maybe this is down to an increased water content in this. Maybe it's something else. I don't know. But um, yeah, I only give 0.5 out of one available point here because of that. It's not, it's not seven euro ice cream type of stuff, I think. Color-wise, I give one out of one available point because I think that this looked overall fine. I don't have anything to complain about it. Consistency and texture-wise, I give one out of two available points, mainly because of these mix-ins, because I think those are wonderful mix-ins. Sort of a, a, a grainy structure, um, slightly chewy, uh, very pleasant to bite on, a, a somewhat decent flavor in them as well. Um, I wish that, that stuff like this would be mixed into ice cream a bit more often, and uh, yeah, these are the reason why this gets still one out of two available points. Otherwise, I have to say that I'm not a huge fan of this particular product when it comes to consistency and texture, because it, for some reason, felt a bit watery. Now, at first it's fine, um, it's creamy enough, but usually when you've got proper ice cream, you don't have a sort of watery texture in your mouth afterwards. This is something that I've never experienced before with a haagen ice cream. Usually they are the, the creamiest, really. So, I, I don't know what's up with this one. Um, maybe, once again, this is down to um, an error in storage, uh, probably down to the shop that I bought this from, but maybe this is also because there's maybe w more water in it, maybe it's it's processed in a different way, I don't know what it is, but it's, it's certainly not uh, the creaminess that I would expect from a 7 euro ice cream. No, not at all. Flavor-wise, I give 2.5 out of 5 available points because while it did taste of uh, chocolate ice cream, I guess, for the most part, there wasn't the richness in flavor that I once again expect from a very premium high price ice cream like this one. This, I, I, don't, I don't know what it is. Um, usually these um, 
Hagen Dazs and Ben and Jerry's chocolate ice creams are a lot better than this one here. Once again, a bit of a uh, almost a watery flavor in there, not the richness that you would expect from something like this at all. The macaron pieces tasted fine, although I have to say that those as well weren't as as rich in flavor like the previous ones were. The red one, these, um, I think it was like strawberry and raspberry macarons. Those were quite a bit better. So overall, I have to say that this certainly doesn't live up to the expectation when it comes to the taste, this particular double chocolate ganache. I don't know what it is really. Thematization wise, 0.5 out of 1 available point because, yes, you can see overall I'm not very happy with this. Um, double chocolate would to me mean uh, extra flavor. <laughs> Maybe it means something entirely different. Maybe it's half the flavor, like a double but half. I've got no idea, but it certainly is not worth full points. Um, I give it half points, therefore. In total, for the lack of flavor, for the, the sort of weird texture that's not really appropriate for an ice cream of this price, I give 5.5 out of 10 available points as a total rating. And I think that this is where I'm going to end this particular video. If you've got a question or a video suggestion, leave it in the comment section down below. And if you want to see more videos just like this one, feel free to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and I hope I'm going to see you soon. Until then, bye-bye.